Hey guys, me and Weezy Review 70 with another video review. And thanks f to the folks from Diamond Select, we're having a look at the, the Amazing Spider Man Mini Mates of Battle Damage Spider Man and Lizard. Now, I've been wanting the, this Mini Mate say, set for a long time. That happy I got it. Here's the packaging. Let's slide them out of the way. Here's the packaging. We got the Battle Damage Spider Man and Lizard artwork on the bottom right there. We got it says two packs of Mini Mates, and if I zoom in right there, it's as Mini Mates 10th anniversary. You got the Spider Man picture of Andrew Garfield in his costume. It says Mini Mates right here. Warning choking hazard may be generated on the back. You get, there's also other figures in the line. You got Dr. Cook Connors. Gwen Stacy, Vigilante Spider Man, Captain Stacy. You got also got Peter Parker, Battle Damage Spider Man, and Wizard. And uh, I want to get this t this two pack right here, the Spider Man and and Peter Parker right here. And uh, but I ended up getting this at first. I couldn't find the Spider Man and Peter Parker two pack. But the read up on Spider Man says there's a monster stalking the streets of New York City, and Peter is partially responsible for its creation. He must use all of his powers to stop it before the city he lives in is risen is changed forever. I can't believe I screwed that up. The lizard, the lizard was. Once, Dr. Cook Connors, who sought to regrow his lost arm, Peter only wanted to help, but instead helped Connors shed his humanity. Now the man is no more, only the lizard remains. Okay, now, before we have a look at the Battle Damage Spider-Man, let's have a look at the lizard. And the uh, lizard comes with this mini-mate stand, which... I've never seen, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have not seen this with any Mini Mate ever. But if the Mini Mate itself, I like the Mini Mate. I like the Mini Mate, uh, but I didn't like, I hate the design. The, the, I thought the design was stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> yeah. And I hate the design. Oh, and he also got some. Claws on. I like the uh, detail on the face. I think the face looks quite nice. And the. I also like that he's. I also like that these mini mates are far poseable than the Legos. You can have him pose. You can pose him like that. Like he's lunging towards you. And uh. Yeah. But. Don't really need. Oh, I guess you need the mini mate stand. But sometimes you don't need the mini mate stand because he stands perfectly well by himself. But I'm just gonna ah, put him on the display stand. And uh, yeah. Oh, in the way of his articulation, he's got ball joint head, ball joint shoulders, he's got a hinge in the elbow. Swivel on the wrist, but it's a little bit stiff on this one. He rotates at the waist. Legs bend out, back and forth. Bend at the knee. And uh, he's got a articulated tail on the back. And uh, two points of articulation in the tail. He's, there's a swivel there. There's a swivel there. So... I, I like that they gave you an articulated tail. As you can see, here's the lizard. This is the... And, uh... And let me show you a comparison. And because... I, I just want to give you a comparison. Now, here's lizard in mini-mate form. Just hold on. And here's lizard in figure form. And as you can see, big difference in height. So, move that aside. 
And uh, this mini me is really, really nice. I think I'll give it an eight. I like it, but I didn't like the design. And uh, Battle Damage Spider Man, it's he looks really nice. And also, he doesn't fit on the display stand. Just throwing that out there. But the figure itself is really nice. I, I like the gold eyes. And uh. First, I wasn't a big fan when he had the gold eyes on the movie. And he also comes with this backpack, which is pretty cool. I like it. I like the accessory. Now, and, uh, he, and, uh, he comes with hair. What? Why? Why does Spider-Man need hair? Oh, -ho. Diamond Select thought that out. You can take the mask off and you ha have yourself a battered Peter Parker. Awesome. Well, if you want, you can have him displayed holding a mask. Review spot set. Displayed him with the mask. And uh, he looks good with it, huh? Good with holding the mask. And uh, I like the face detailing on, on Peter. It looks really, really nice. And uh, it's got some... He's got some scuffs in his knee, and he's got some scratches on the chip, on the spider symbol right there. Oh, it's just a really nice two-pack. I don't know about you, but this is a really nice Spider-Man. Uh, uh, I like this Spider-Man figure. Hopefully, I'll get the... Hopefully I'll get this two pack right here, Spider Man and Peter Parker. But aside from that, I really like this figure. Oh, and by the way, I got these mini mates from Toys R Us in case you were wondering. And uh, you can have them uh, in any pose. You can have them running like that. And uh, I never, I never. And uh. But I like this mini me. Oh, and by the way, in the ways of his articulation, it's got a ball joint head, ball joint shoulders, it's got a hinge in the elbow, it's got a wrist swivel, it's got a rotation in the waist, and it co it removes. Legs bend out a little bit. Go back and forth. A bend at the knee, and he also has a swivel on the foot. So, really awesome articulation on this Spider-Man figure. Spider-Man, I'm going to give him a 9.5. And today, Wheezy Reviews, we're having a look at the amazing Spider-Man mini mates, a really nice battle damage Spider-Man, and also a really nice lizard. Thanks for watching, guys. And stay tuned for, an, for a, another Mini Mate review. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>